All right, so I asked a lot of you guys on Instagram what kind of videos you guys want to see or what kind of tutorials. A lot of you guys ended up DMing me, and I've been getting this request many times about how do I do my pumps. If you don't know what a pump is, it's basically when the video zooms in as soon as there's a beat. I'll show you guys an example right here. So it's really not that hard to do, so I'm going to show you guys the exact this exact one that I use in basically every edit. I don't really change up my pumps, it's usually the same thing. So let's get started first. What you want to do, go over here, right click, click new, adjustment layer, trim it down. What I like to do is from where the beat, beat is, I like to skip 10 frames and then another two for 12. And you do it to both sides. And that's like the perfect like amount for me. So after you got your adjustment layer, look up transform in your effects and presets, drag it on or double click it, whatever you want to do. Click the little timer to set up a keyframe. Go back on your adjustment layer, make sure you have your click. Click U, so your keyframes pop up. Then you go to where your marker is and where you have the beat. And I like to do maybe like two, 35, I think that's exactly what I have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then go to the last frame and make it back 100. And then easy ease. Now, that's not it, you know? Because after that, it's not going to look the best if you just do that. You see, it looked kind of weird and like, I don't know. It just looked weird. So what you want to do is highlight all your keyframes. Go to Graph Editor. And make sure your graph, right click and make sure it's on edit value graph. And don't get intimidated by graph editor, it's really not that hard to get. I know I was intimidated at first, but you know, now I get it and now I understand. So what you want to do is click this little block right here, go to this one and drag it all the way down and line it up. And then do the same thing to this side, drag it all the way down and level it. And now go back, click off of it. And now let's see how this looks. It just looks way better. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much how, you, how I do my pumps. You know, people might do it differently, but that's how I do mine. It's really not that hard. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please share it to a friend if they don't know how to do their pumps. It's really not that hard. And yeah, that's pretty much it. No